So a lot of people watching this and wondering how it could have happened. Can you walk us through the process that goes into planning for an event of this magnitude? There is a lot of pre-planning for these type of things, Caroline, um, weeks, if not months beforehand. And they have to look at all of the protective package, if you will, of how to do these. Um, you have to look at them from a variety of different perspectives. Obviously, something failed here, but it's still early in the investigation. We want to find out what that was. Yeah, and we were hearing from people who were out side of the perimeter who did some interviews. I watched one where a witness spoke to BBC saying he tried to warn police. He saw that man crawling with a gun on the roof. Mm -hmm. Are you surprised or is it unusual um, that they would not have Secret Service or law enforcement on the roofs of those buildings nearby? I haven't been to that location, so I don't know what that distance is. It can look like one thing on a map and be something completely different sure. when we're standing there on the ground. What we know at this time is it did happen. I'm very interested to find out why, what the circumstances were that surrounded this. Yeah, certainly a lot of questions that people want answered this morning. This is also going to have ramifications moving forward with other events. Of course, the RNC kicking off in Milwaukee on Monday. How do you think this will affect that? Absolutely. Well, as soon as an event like this happens, all types of security mechanisms go into play around the family, around the businesses. Anything to do with that brand is, is security is going to be increased on that. Obviously, there's going to be other things taken into consideration now for the conventions coming up. Uh, this isn't just a short term security patch. This is something that's going to impact security for many many, many months to follow. Yes, and we know that at the time of this happening, President Biden had to leave his home uh, and head to the White House. Is that standard protocol when something like this happens? Absolutely, and obviously it was the choice of President Biden to do that, but I think that was quite prudent in light of what was going on here because you just don't know if this was a singular event or if this was going to lead to something much larger. Where does the investigation move from here? Um, it will be a joint investigation. Obviously, the FBI has primary jurisdiction over investigations of, of assassinations here in the United States, but a multi-agency approach will be taken to this thing. There's still a lot of questions to be answered. Obviously, the, the suspect is dead, uh, so it's not able to give any information. So a lot of this is having to be pieced together for the first time. Carl De La Guerra, our security analyst, thank you for joining us this morning, and we'll check in with you again in about an hour. Glad to be here, Carol. All right, thank you.